Hey, it's Kunal, commercial product photographer. And today let's talk about how to get your first commercial job. Now, you know, in the world of commercial photography, there is no set path and nothing is by the book. So let me just share with you guys what I did to get my first commercial project. Now, uh, when I started 11 years back, I didn't go to a photography school. I didn't assist any photographer. I had absolutely no idea about the world of commercial photography and advertising. So the only thing I had with me was to build a world-class portfolio. And I thought that that's the only way in for me. Okay, so I invested a lot of time uh, in my portfolio. I experimented a lot with light. I, uh, I mean, I put a lot of efforts in understanding photography and building a portfolio. Now, I have another video where I've explained how to build a portfolio. So make sure you check that out. Now, once I had my portfolio ready, then I started approaching people in the ad agencies, uh, like the creative directors, the art directors, uh, like the art buyers in the bigger agencies, the marketing team in the brands. So, you know, like I used to do my research and see what all agencies are doing the kind of campaigns that I want to shoot or what all brands are doing these kind of campaigns. Then I used to uh, hunt them down or, you know, spy on LinkedIn and uh, uh, find the contacts in these ad agencies and the brands. And I used to send a lot of LinkedIn invites. Uh, I used to send a lot of emails, make a lot of calls in the beginning. And uh, just so you know, as a commercial photographer, you will face a lot of rejections in the beginning. Okay. But be patient. This is how it works. Okay. So I was doing this time and again, I would have sent, I don't know, hundreds of emails and made hundreds of calls before I got my first call. I received my first call from an agency for a commercial campaign. Now, you know, what happens is that when you, when you're sending out these emails and sending out your work in front of these people, a day will come when your email will land up at an agency or with a client's uh, marketing team at the very same time when they are planning a campaign and they are actually looking out for a photographer and maybe your style matches their exact requirement. So that's the time you're going to get a call back and this day will come. I assure you that, okay, provided your work is really good. So I got a call from this agency for this uh, campaign shoot and mind you, it took me five years to get my first real commercial job with a big brand. Okay. And because I had no knowledge, no experience, uh, I knew nothing about the industry. Okay. So it took me five years, but today, if you have the right information, you have the right knowledge, then you can really reduce that period of time. So that is how I got my first commercial job. And after that, I again started approaching people, sending out lots of hundreds of emails, making a lot of phone calls. And again, I got a one or two calls for jobs. I did a few more campaigns. And once I did, I think my first two or three projects, then word of mouth started working for me. Then I used to get a lot of referrals from people who had worked with me in the past. So they would suggest my name uh, to, new to new brands, to new agencies. And also people working in the ad agencies and brands, they switch companies, okay? So somebody who had worked with me on a campaign, he switched an agency. He came back to me for another shoot. And this is how gradually as a photographer, you build your network. Okay. These things take time. So be patient. Uh, the more important thing is to have a really good body of work, a really good portfolio, because that's the only thing which is going to help you throughout your career. Okay. And once you have that, then keep doing your marketing, keep getting your work in front of people who matter the most. Okay. And this is how I assure you, if your work is good, you will definitely get the commercial jobs. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I'll try my best to reply to each and every comment and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like these kind of videos, because this will allow me to put in more and more content for free out there for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. Bye.